Aldebaran Robotics presents Chat about Chat about Heaney Ben Ammer David Vogt Eric Berger Institute of Computer Science Technical University Berg Academy Freiburg Freiburg, Germany Working on Motion Capture and Human-Machine Interaction Hello, my name is Dr. Hini ben and I'm the group leader of the Humanoid Robotics Group at the Technical University Berg Academy Freiberg. And I am Eric Berger, master student, and my master thesis is about motion capturing. And I'm David Vogt, also a master student here, and my master thesis is about human-robot interaction. Here in Freiberg, we do research on imitation learning. Imitation learning enables a robot to copy a human behavior seen through some camera or motion capture device. In this way, we think that robots will become more autonomous and this will also reduce the need for programming or coding. Chat about NAL's role in your research. The NAL robot is an optimal research platform for our purposes. Actually, most humanoid robots out there are prototypes developed at universities and research institutions. In contrast to that, the NAL robot is a commercial and powerful robot that comes with a highly convenient software development kit that allows us to concentrate on our research without reinventing the wheel. When operating with robots like the NAL, for example, you want it to be reactive, you want it to be responsive. For example, when you're handing something over to the robot, you want it to grab it precisely at the right time. To develop such sort of skill set, this is my part in the project. At this point, we are trying to learn an interaction model from previous learned motion. And then the idea is to find a robot posture that is suitable for a human posture, depending on the current situation, of course. Another focus of our research is to increase the vividness of a robot motion, or the change the visual appeal. For that, we are using mostly Walt Disney's principles of animation. For example, you can have the robot play back an animation more exaggerated, or you can have it played back with a different mood, like sadness or happiness, for example. In our approach, we are using Microsoft's Kinect to get a 3D depth picture of our scene. Inside this scene, we detect up to two users and extract their body postures over time. The resulting motions and interactions get optimized for the nowest body configuration within simulation. The optimized motions can be replayed on the now. This allows us to easily create new behaviors. We are also interested in embedding robots in a virtual reality environment. We in Freiberg we have a cave which allows us to simulate a wide variety of virtual environments. We can put the robot in these environments and try out different situations and see how the robot would respond to these situations. Chat about NAL's programming. Chat about results and expectations. We further are interested in the imitation of interactions. This means that we want to capture the interaction between two humans and we want to replicate this situation afterwards with one robot and a human. I think that in this way we can make the interaction capabilities of robots more natural and lifelike. <laughs>